Hello and welcome to VMblog's coverage of VMware Explore 2023 taking place in Las Vegas at the Venetian. And today we're joined by Rich Severson, the VP of Global Solutions Engineering at Stratodesk. Thanks for joining us today, Rich. Absolutely. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, looking forward to this. Uh, you and I, we've spoken together uh, numerous times in the past, but if you could just start things off, maybe provide viewers with a quick overview of Stratodesk. Certainly. So what at Stratodesk, what we do is we provide what we call the industry leading um, endpoint OS for digital workspaces. Basically, what we do is we develop an operating system called No Touch OS and a management platform called No Touch Center that allows us to manage those endpoints, whether they're in the infrastructure or remote, that allows administrators to deliver connections to the digital workspaces for today's users. And Maybe we can talk a little bit about the partnership between you and VMware. Um, how do you guys fit into their ecosystem and how do you guys partner together? So we are actually part of the VMware TAP program, the Technology Alliance program, which gives us the ability to have access to the, the, um, the Horizon client for Linux. So we integrate the Horizon client for Linux into our operating system for those uh, facilities or organizations that are using Horizon for their endpoint connections to the cloud digital workspaces. So we integrate the Horizon client into No Touch OS and give the ability, the administrators, the ability, obviously, to manage those connections and deliver those desktops out to the users. So that's one of the things that we do. And actually, this year, one of the things that we've been working with with VMware as well is on what they're calling VPAWS or the virtual point of sale stuff. And we'll talk about that a little bit as well. So in today's conversation, we're obviously talking about uh, VMware Explorer event. Uh, so it only makes sense for me to ask you if you could describe some of the types of problems that Stratodesk is solving for VMware users and maybe talk about why show attendees should visit uh, the Stratodesk booth at the show. So uh, again, this is our multiple, you know, we've attended uh, VM Explorer multiple years now and we're going to continue doing so. And I think the thing that we can demonstrate and what we show and what we provide is, uh, like I said, a high performance secure Linux operating system for those endpoints that provides the Horizon client to connect to the Horizon infrastructure. And it gives the administrators the ability to manage those. So the problems that we solve is, you know, we reduce support costs. Um, we increase the reliability of those Horizon connections, you know, because having a consistent OS desktop experience for the users is the most important thing, right? It's all about the end user experience. So with the combination of no touch center and no touch OS, we know that when we integrate the Horizon client to that desktop and deliver that desktop connection to the end users, the end users are going to get the experience that they expect out of Horizon and the Horizon desktops. So reducing supportability or reducing support costs, I guess, if you will, right? Because you know, when you set a connection, you know it's going to happen. And having consistent uh, operating system and connections across all users makes it easy to support. You know that when you deliver that connection, it's going to happen. And could you take a second to kind of give us more of a deeper dive into some of your company's uh, technology offerings and... Uh, you know, maybe tell us a little bit deeper into what the product does. So again, it's a secure high performance Linux operating system that we can put on virtually any x86, x64, or ARM, the Raspberry Pi based endpoints. So you can repurpose those endpoints, whether they be legacy thin clients, legacy PCs that you may have that are sitting out there that are not being utilized. You can repurpose those and put no touch OS on them and actually get a better performance than what you may have gotten out of the OS that they were delivered with. As example, there's um, there's a significant number of uh, laptops, PCs out there that were delivered with a version of Windows 10. It's not going to be supported under Windows 11 for whatever reason. Um, there's legacy thin clients out there that have older thin client operating systems out there that don't can't be updated to the latest versions of say Horizon. And because the way that our operating system works and the way that we integrate the clients, we can deliver a modern OS out to those endpoint devices, repurpose those devices, extending the budget and life cycle of those endpoint devices, but yet can continue to deliver the great Horizon experience that the user are, are expecting. Now, so, Rich, you gave a, you, you gave a great uh, rundown of the uh, the product, the technology, uh, there's going to be a lot of vendors. You and I both know that it's a crowded space on the show floor in the expo hall at uh, at the show. 
uh, so with folks who are going around trying to look at different booths, what would you tell them uh, is sort of the unique differentiator about Stratodesk as compared to, you know, other products, competition, what have you? So, you know, it's important to explore one of the things that we've learned, right, is there's actually almost two separate groups of people that attend Explorer. There are the infrastructure teams, right, that are looking at, you know, looking at the VMware infrastructure products, you know, what goes into the data center, those kinds of things. And we're typically not part of that ecosystem. We're part of the endpoint solutions, right? So I think the advantage that we provide, like I said, is the ability to deliver that consistent endpoint experience. And it's important to note that we can do that with the devices that are inside the network, as well as for those that are remote work from home users. And from a system administration perspective, I can administer those devices at home just as if they were on my network. In addition to having the, you know, the great operating system that we have and the great uh, management platform that we have for those, we also integrate with different partners that are out there that are part of the ecosystem as well, companies like Liquidware and Control Up, et cetera. So we can extend the overall administration experience and ensure the end user experience. And traditionally uh, at VMware Explorer, a lot of people use this to announce new products or updates to their products. Um, is Stratodesk going to be announcing anything that they've recently done at the show? So I, I would say that there's probably a couple of things that we're going to be announcing. Some of them are, you know, a little bit subtle announcements, if you will. But um, obviously, No Touch Flex is something that we introduced uh, earlier this year, right? Which No Touch Flex is the ability to scale up and scale down your uh, licensing for No Touch OS, depending on, let's say, seasonal workloads, right? So we allow for that. That's one that's called No Touch Flex. Like I said, and actually, I'm going to be part of a presentation panel uh, with a group of people from VMware regarding what's called virtual point of sale or VPOS, because we found that we've had success in going into retail facilities. You know, you imagine, you know, grocery stores, et cetera, those kinds of things where they have uh, large volumes of devices that are probably getting, you know, a bit dated and they have a legacy operating system on that, whether it be a, an older Linux embedded OS or uh, Windows embedded OS and how to upgrade the line of business point of sale applications and be able to do that with the endpoints as well. So what we found is by taking those existing endpoints and converting them to no touch OS, we can deliver the high performance OS that we have, take advantage of that hardware and deliver a great experience with a horizon connection to the line of business applications that are now running and virtualized in VMware. So think of, you know, uh, uh, an entire line of business for point of sale is suddenly lifted to the cloud with the exception of the endpoint that's still in the store. And 2023, we're flying by, the year's going really quickly. Uh, we're, you know, as we head into 2024, what are some of the big themes or trends that Stratodesk is uh, is looking forward to, look is interested in and uh, maybe working towards? Well, you know, certainly security is always an ongoing thing, right? I mean, it, there's different uh, methodologies for security, password controls, and all those kinds of things. And one of the things that we're actually working on with VMware as well is with another company called AuthX um, that is delivering another security solution to the endpoints, uh, similar to, uh, you know, the security work workflows where you can badge in, badge out, those kinds of things. So that's something that it, it, we're hoping to have everything complete and be able to actually show it at the at Explore. Um, but there's still a little bit of work in progress, but it's something we've been working with. So I would say definitely security is always an evolving thing, right? So, and then continue delivering, you know, all the features and enhancements that VMware brings to the Horizon infrastructure. And I guess uh, before we close this out, could we get a quick demo of the product? Sure. Um, I, I can make this uh, as high level or as low level as you'd like. Let me uh, go ahead and get this set up real quick. Okay, so what you see here is what's called No Touch Center. So this is a web interface to, uh, to No Touch Center, which is the enterprise management platform for No Touch OS. The important thing to note about No Touch Center is it can be in your infrastructure, it can be on your cloud, it can be on a public cloud, you can host it yourself, partners can host it, or we can host it for you. And again, like I said, we have the ability to do the No Touch Flex, the flexible pricing there. 
Okay, so what we do is we log into No Touch Center, and once we're logged into No Touch Center, we're presented with the overall view of No Touch Center, the different devices, different images, et cetera. And on the left-hand side, we have the tree view of all the devices. Now, the nice thing about No Touch Center and No Touch OS is the way that the auto discovery feature works. We actually allow it such that when a device boots up No Touch OS via a DNS name, a DNS A record for TCMGR, the devices can automatically enroll. They can automatically enroll to a group. And once they're enrolled into that group, they can automatically inherit the settings for that group. Meaning what you can do is you can set it up so I can say that I have any device that is on this network or in this facility based on any uh, piece of information and say that I want that device to automatically receive a connection for Horizon, let's say, and I can even put that connection into effectively kiosk mode. So the device will boot up the first time, it will automatically discover, it'll automatically enroll into No Touch Center. It will then automatically receive the configurations that I've provisioned for that, uh, for that group or that device. And then the user will be able to have their connections available to them. And it's very simple. As example here in this device, we'll do it at a device level instead of group level. I've got an Opti 3000 sitting here. I can right, simply right click, say I want to create a new connection and we'll call it VMware connection. And once I've created that connection, I can then go choose the VDI or client connection type. And here you see all the different connection types that we provide, you know, be it VMware, be it Microsoft, be it RDP, be it Citrix, all those kinds of things. In this case, we're going to choose VMware. I can simply say VMware Horizon View. I could put in my target server information, go back to the device, announce those changes. And now that device is literally going to receive the connection configuration properties for that connection to my Horizon desktop. And I know once I've set those parameters and properties via No Touch Center and done the announcement, I know that those properties and parameters are going to go out to that device. As an example, I can now simply within that device or within No Touch Center, shadow that device. And when we create the shadow connection and we're doing a secure tunneling shadow connection, and you see right there, the VMware connection has already been received to the endpoint. So now the user can simply click on that Horizon desktop connection, be presented their login and have their login connection. So, you know, the, the nice thing, kind of like I said, you know, the advantage of the high performance Linux OS. So it's very secure. We provide all the different VDI connection types and the ability to manage those devices across the enterprise, whether they be work from home or in the office and provide the full ability to support those devices. Well, thanks for that great demo. Um, for people that can't be at the show and see it in person, what's a good way for them to learn more about Stratodesk and some of the things you talked about today? So certainly, obviously, you can go to stratodesk.com, and there's actually a form and a link there. They, they can click for a free demo, as well as to download the trial versions. Our partners and our ecosystems can also provide the same. So certainly, you know, hopefully we'll see many people at Explore. And uh, we'll be able to talk, communicate directly and, and do these presentations at the, at, the, at the booth. But if not, certainly, again, uh, there's multiple ways, you know, stratodesk.com. You can and there's several um, YouTube videos about stratodesk, et cetera. So there's lots of information about No Touch OS and No Touch Center. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog, and we look forward to seeing you at the show. Yeah, look forward to seeing you guys. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks in Las Vegas.